Hey, I'm sorry I'm out of breath right now. I was just doing some laps. I just uh, came to the park on the bike and just did one lap, full blast, full blasting. This right here, all of that came up. Just park my bike, all of that. But anyways, I'm here to talk about what happened this morning. This morning I was supposed to go to work. I woke up, my mother just told, shocked the shit out of me. She said, your dad, your father's in the hospital. I was like, what? She's like, your dad, your father's in the hospital, go over there. So I, walked, I jumped in the car. I immediately drove to the hospital. The hospital's right down the street. And I got in there, I saw my dad in the bed. My dad told me that the doctor told him after him going through the, the, the CAT scan or whatever, where they see you on the screen and they see what's inside you, see what's causing the pain. My father had pain on the right side of his body, which means he couldn't like, you know, it was, it, every time he'd move, ah, it hurt him, you know? So like the doctors told him that the reason why, they found the reason why he's caused, was causing the pain on him. And they said that in his intestines, first we have our esophageal that goes down into our small intestines and our small intestines is located right here and then the large intestines goes up and over our diaphragm and, uh, and then exits into the outside the butt well right here when the when it comes up and uh right here in this area on the side he has I, mean, I don't know what side is it but I guess when it comes up right here on the side he has food and bacteria stocked clogged up in that area which was causing him the pain so what that means is He's not getting any dietary fiber. He's not getting any fiber, which is basically fiber is what we get our nutrients from. Our fiber is food, basically, like fresh fruit, vegetables, grains, all types of foods, just like that. And fiber is basically when we eat it, are then the intestinal walls, which is basically the intestines, the tubes. The intestinal walls of the tube is what absorbs the fiber, which is the food that we eat, and then the nutrients get sent off inside the walls into the bloodstream and that's how we get our nutrients so my father has not been eating fiber this happened to him back in 2011 and it happened to him this morning I remember when it happened to him in 2011 it was just crazy shit because that day I drove him to the to the hospital I remember that day because he could not he was like ah, ah like he was in so much pain and I don't want to see my father in pain who the hell wants to see their own parents in pain like that you know so Today, he went to the hospital by himself. He didn't wake me up. It was early in the morning. Uh, I think my mother told me it was around like 4. He went there at 4, like 4.30 in the morning or whatever. And he was in the hospital. And um, I went there around like 8 or 9 or something like that. And uh, he was just, I saw him in bed. And that's what, that's what my father told me. And I told him, you know, because all my father eats is meat. All my father eats is meat, whether it be steak whether it be chicken or fish, he just eats meat with like a little portion of rice. Just like the meat would be like all over the goddamn plate and then like a little, like a little, like that much rice on the plate with like little to no vegetables. And I'm sorry to say to all you meat eaters out there, meat has zero fiber. Meat is no way and beneficial to our fucking bodies. We're not designed to eat meat. Meat causes fucking cancer. Meat causes fucking all types of disorders, all types of disease. Meat causes heart disease. Meat is probably one of the top five causes of death in America. The top meat is what causes basically what causes obesity. Basically, meat, meat, meat. We're not supposed to be eating meat. Hence, why red meat stays in our system for a long ass time. Red meat, like if you eat steak, it stays in our system for a long ass time. Chicken, when we eat meat, it's when we eat chicken it stays in our system for like five hours plus until it is fully digested that's why we're not supposed to be that, we're, that's why our bodies aren't designed supposed to be eating meat our bodies are supposed to, our bodies are designed supposed to be lean slender greyhound look sleek look catabolic look we're supposed to have that lean like ever seen a movie like avatar i'm sorry to like get out of like real life but like i'm telling you that's how we're supposed to be designed we're supposed, we're supposed to be designed lean tall uh, absolute thin creatures, you know, we're supposed to, we're, we're, we're designed, supposed to be eating, uh, fruit, fruit vegetables and things that grow from the, things that grow out of the dirt. That's what we're designed to eat because those are the foods that digest the fastest. Those are the foods that are full of fiber. You know, meat has no fiber. If you look at meat, meat has zero fiber. Meat just sits in your stomach. It's what causes you to fucking stink. 
not, in case you didn't know, 90% of who we are comes from our gut. So if you don't care about your fucking body, you're going to put whatever the fuck you want in your body. You know, but if you care about, uh, excuse me, if you care about your body, if you care about your fucking health, you're going to be cautious. You're going to be weary about what you put in your body, you know? And when I say this, fruit, I, I say everybody on this earth should convert to vegan because vegan has one of the most delicious fucking foods you can ever eat in your fucking life. Cooked foods and fresh foods. The, vegan has the most delicious fucking cooked foods in the fucking earth. I'd rather be eating vegan cooked foods for the rest of my fucking life. I do eat it for the rest of my fucking life. Now, this year is what I, when I convert them to, to vegan, I'm never going to eat a fucking piece of meat again. I guarantee you that. Last time I ate a piece of meat, I, I regret it, man. I don't, I felt so bad. I had a headache. No, I don't want to eat fucking meat no more. Fuck meat. I'm sorry, excuse my language, but fuck meat, man. Meat is not good for us, okay? Meat is what causes fucking heart disease, what causes cancers, what causes you to bloat, what causes inflammation in, 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 the, in the intestines, inflammations in your guts, what causes bloating, it's what causes, you know, and it, and it has so many fucking calories, why the fuck you want to eat a little old piece of meat, a little old piece of fucking steak that contains so much fucking calories, and you gotta wait, you gotta restrict yourself in order to eat not that much calories, you gotta restrict yourself six, seven, eight fucking hours in order for you to eat another next meal until you feel fucking, until you feel, you know, unempty, until you feel empty again, because like, Within those, like, let's say if I, if I ate a piece of meat now, you know, I'm going to be, I'm going to feel full for like three hours. But then after those three hours, the, the meat is still going to be inside me. And I may not be full. I may not feel full. I may feel hungry. But, you know, it's like, you can't be fucking doing that because you're going you're gonna to go over your calorie limit. You just, why restrict, why, why restrict calories from the foods that are bad for us when you can eat unlimited amount of calories from the foods that are fucking good for us, like fruit and vegetables? Why do I say this? I don't give a fuck if you don't, I don't give a fuck if you exercise or don't. Calories in versus calories out is fucking bullshit. That's bullshit. If you eat, I eat 10 fucking potatoes, I eat 10 bananas in the fucking morning, 5 fucking mangoes, 10 more fucking bananas, 10 fucking potatoes, a bag of grapes. What else? So, like, like 30 dates. Dates have a lot of fucking calories. For a handful, a handful like this. A fucking handful of dates has 400 fucking calories. But it's fruit. Who gives a fuck? It's fruit. Look how fucking thin my arm is. Look how fucking thin my arm is. You know, I'm losing weight. I'm 200 fucking pounds. I eat so much. You know, it's not, it's not how much you eat. It's what you eat. It's what you eat, man. That's why I don't eat fucking meat. Meat causes so many wrong things to the fucking body. Don't eat fucking meat. Don't fucking eat meat, man. Because meat has no fiber, man. Meat has no fucking fiber. What the fuck are you going to fucking eat meat for? We're designed to be fucking lean. We're designed to be fucking eating fruit. That's why we... That's why there's fucking trees. Fruit trees, man. That's why fruit digests so fucking fast. If the food digests so fast, that allows you to eat even more. You know, when we're supposed to be mobile creatures. We don't even... We come home and we sit down on a fucking couch. And watch TV. You know, we're being fucking, you know... We're, we're being fucking monitored. We're not even watching the monitor. We're being fucking monitored, you know? You know, if it, meat causes, meat makes your fucking gut stink. Meat makes your fucking breath stink. Meat makes your fucking stink entirely, you know? Even when you fart. Even when you fart, you're gonna fucking, this just stinks because meat fucking stinks. Dead? Think you cook, a, cook a fucking, you know, you raw shit. Smell that shit. That shit stinks. You know, then it's gonna be, in, then it's gonna go, you're putting flesh inside flesh. Intestinal walls is flesh. You're putting flesh inside flesh. You don't wanna fucking put flesh you know animal fucking flesh inside you you put an animal fucking fat animal fucking oil animal fucking disease all inside you and then your body's fucking absorbing you are what you eat if you're gonna fucking eat disease your, your body's gonna be full of fucking disease it may not be disease today it may not it may not be disease today but a couple a couple more years from now a couple more years from now your heart's gonna start hurting your lungs are gonna start hurting your knees are gonna start hurting you're not because because you're not eating fucking you're not eating fucking things to clean the blood. You're not eating fucking calcium. You are what you eat. If you eat calcium, you're going to be calcium. What is in calcium? Every every fruit and vegetable has fucking calcium. Every fruit and vegetable has fucking vitamin C, vitamin A, fucking vitamin B, all the fucking vitamin B12, every fucking vitamin fruit fucking has. So you are what you eat. If you eat the fucking fruit, which has nothing but fucking vitamins and nutrients, you're going to be fucking full of vitamins and nutrients, you know? If you eat fucking greens and fucking fruit that contains nothing but calcium, you're going to fucking build your fucking bones you know if you don't eat fucking food to have calcium you're not going to build your fucking bones you're not going to your bones are just going to rot because you're not eating 
you know, fucking calcium. You're not eating fucking the nutrients, so you're just gonna rot quicklier. But if you eat the fruit that contains the nutrients, you're just gonna build your body. And it's gonna make you fucking stronger. It's gonna make you fucking healthier. People don't understand, the more you eat, the more you lose weight, the more you become healthier. Not, don't eat one time a day. You're not fucking doing anything, you know? Especially fiber. People think, oh, I'm so full. No. You know? Fiber is what, like, let's say right now, if I have something, I eat it. I eat it. Bam. And fiber gets stuck right there. Then I eat something else. Fiber is going to push down on top of that and push it out of you. That's what fiber does. Fiber is what catches everything in its path inside of your colon, inside of your esophagus, inside of your fucking intestines and pushes it out, out of your ass. That's, That's the waste that we eat. You know, we're supposed, to, we're supposed to be shitting fucking daily, every, almost every time we eat. You know, every morning you're supposed to fucking shit. Every day you're supposed to shit. Maybe two, twice a day you're supposed to be fucking shitting, depending on how much fucking fiber you get, you know? So you're supposed to eat, man. Eat healthy, man. I don't want to see anybody fucking, fucking dying, you know? I don't want to fucking, especially your fucking family, man. Your fam, my, I'm sorry, but my family's fucking ignorant. All they want to eat is fucking meat and ice cream. That's the most, two of the most unhealthiest shit. You can fucking eat in your fucking life. My father loves fucking meat. My my mother loves fucking ice cream. You know? What I found out, go, going on Instagram and all that shit, I found out you can make fucking ice cream out of fruit, which basically just take, peel a frozen banana, slice it up into thin pieces, put it in a Ziploc bag or a little plate or a Tupperware or whatever, and, put, and store it in the freezer. The next morning, you take it out, put it in a blender or put it in a fruit processor and then grind it up. And it comes into fucking ice cream. Fruit into ice cream. You, you didn't use any sugar. All you used was fruit and a fucking fruit, food processor. That's it. And it makes it into ice cream. That's fucking beautiful. So I tell my mother, if you want to eat fucking ice cream, eat fruit ice cream. Eat fucking banana ice cream. Eat mango and banana ice cream. Put mango and banana in the freezer. No, 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 no. I can't eat cold. I'm like, oh, I can't eat cold because it's going to mess with my ulcer. What the fuck are you talking about, mom? What are you fucking talking about, mom? You know? It's fucking, my parents are so fucking ignorant, man. They don't fucking want to listen to me. I'm changing right before their fucking eyes. I've changed before their fucking eyes and they don't want to fucking listen to you. That's why it's so goddamn hard to change people's minds. It's so goddamn hard to change the earth, man. So fucking hard to change, man. It's so fucking hard to, to lead people when all they want to be led to is fucking disease. They want to be led to a disease path that tastes fucking, that tastes fucking ab- absolutely delicious. They want to, but they don't understand that vegan food tastes delicious ten times as much, and you're getting ten times, fifteen, twenty, a hundred times the fucking nutrients. Will make you live. That's why people, fuck, man. You know, it's, it's people are so eluded. People are so fucking. Led this way, which they, they, they want to lead you off track instead of leading you on the right path. They want to fucking kill you instead of fucking making you stronger and building you. They want to fucking control you instead of fucking letting you to become who you're supposed to meant to be. You know? This world is fucking crazy. I say become a vegan. Vegan, when you eat your fruit, fruit is Wi-Fi. Vegetables is Wi-Fi. They grow from the fucking ground. Mother Earth will connect you back to our fucking ancestors. The more you eat of it, the more you will get connected. Mother Earth will, will make you see. Mother Earth will make you fucking know. Food is fucking Wi-Fi. Connection is fucking real. Energy is fucking real. And all this knowledge that I gain, I gain from fucking connectivity. From fucking the energy. From everyone. From everything. From the Earth especially. Eat fruit, man. Eat fruit.